Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm out here playing disc golf with my buddy Grant. He's gonna teach us how to play. Uh, I've played like once before, not officially, just through a um, through a disc or two, you know, last time. But uh, we're actually gonna learn the Heiser release mm -hmm. or an Anheuser release. So Anheuser's so Anheuser is. Um, so you're reaching it out, and it's gonna be the opposite. Okay, so it's Heiser. the angle of your Heiser. wrist. Yeah, okay. it's the angle of the disc, um, and then yeah, of course you would have a flat there too. But Heiser disc is going to go, and it's going to turn, make the disc turn more, mm -hmm. and go to the left. And Anheuser throw will make it go uh, to the right a little bit, and usually the disc will kind of come around and float, and then turn back left towards the end. Some discs will hold that line the whole way, but usually it kind of makes a nice S turn when you when you release the Anheuser. So okay. your your, your throw speed isn't how much strength you have or you know how far the disc goes doesn't it doesn't isn't determined by how strong you are it's mm -hmm. totally about form and when and it and it's it's the whip of your wrist at the end of your throw like whipping a towel okay you took a towel and you sort of like some... that okay that's the same thing you want to do with the disc so you want to you imagine like just this line across your chest you just want to pull it straight back and you want to pull straight through that line and when your arm gets to like a 90 degree like this you that's where you really want to accelerate through and whip the disc out of your hand okay like that Sounds and good. if you uh, if you if you throw down of course it's going to go into the ground if you're back here and you release up high it's going to go up really high in the air so Okay, so that distance over here, I don't know, that's probably, what, 50 it's, yards, it's about, maybe? Uh, it's about 150, huh? 160 feet or something. It doesn't seem like it's, you know, okay. So, here, I'll throw, I'll throw a right-handed throw at that. Huh? Oh. See, that was right-handed. I'm left here. In the street. In the street, <laughs> out of bounds. I'm loving these camera angles though. This is gonna come out awesome. I really want to see what it looks like in slow mo. Um, so, okay, how does the spot work? So, wherever your disc was, you take. So, just toss it on the ground. So, like, you would put the marker in front of your disc like that, and then you can pick that disc up. And so you know that you can't step. I can't cross the path. So I can come all the way back here if I want. Yeah. And you can, you, but you have to be, when you release the disc, you can't go. Do I need a switch disc? No, you can throw that one. You can throw a putt or two, but you can throw that. Sometimes the mids are easier to because the the um, the lip is shallower. Like putters, the lip so deep sometimes it grips your hand more. I'm oh, having fun. I suck. So I am repping the Icon shirt today for the ICX. Grant says I did a good shot, so woo! Putting, you want to have your, your index finger on the rim. That's mm -hmm. how I like to have it. It, it. Everybody's different, so whatever works for you, but I like to have my index finger on the rim. These three fingers fanned out underneath and your thumb over your middle finger pinching on the disc um, and there's different kinds you know different kinds of stances some people straddle putts they stand like this and they kind of I kind of think of it like granny shotting it like when you're basketball playing basketball and doing a you know, between the leg shot I kind of think of it like that I can't really putt very well that way. I can't really putt very well most of the time. <laughs> not bad for a first putt. I don't know what you mean by grippy. Yeah, it's definitely like... 
Ich bin tot. Get used to the, uh, the motion of, of pulling straight across. See, you pulled from down here, you pulled from down here, and you released up here. So Keep it's it going to go up. Keep, when you reach back, shoulder high, pull straight through your shoulders, and release shoulder high. Okay. So I lost my disc. Oh, nope, I found it. It's uh, right there. So that sun is really bright. Cool. All right. If you were actually, if you were playing in a tournament uh -huh. or scoring and you threw it out of bounds, it went into the concrete, which is considered out of bounds here, um, you would go to the spot where it went out of bounds. Okay. So. If it rolled out of bounds, say right here, um, and it ended up back there, you would come back to where it rolled out of bounds, and then you have uh, like three feet relief from the edge, straight perpendicular to the edge. Okay. So you could walk three feet off, and then you could set your disc down right there, and then putt for a Well, I went out of bounds. Through the magic of editing. Oh, hey, look, I didn't go out of bounds. Yeah. I need to bring you on my mini tournament nights. Exactly. <laughs> I am I will win you that twenty bucks or eighty bucks or whatever it is. Wind caught it. How many kids can I take out? Ten points? Actually not too bad. It's not too hot or anything anymore. Because after this one we'll probably start heading back towards Yeah. So we're going for the one towards the bridge. Alright, it's uh it's getting pretty late so we're gonna cut off. There's no more light, so we're just gonna end up playing and then have fun. So alright, see you guys, have a good Friday. Four! Yay! So plus one. Hit me?
Well, I, I threw two I up shots. How, I was curious how it flew for you. Uh, they're both pretty good. I can see the moon. Are we filming all right? That was a good way to spend a Friday night. It's pretty sweet out here, huh? Yeah. Like I like uh, I like this park, especially for learning because mm -hmm. it's so wide open. Yeah, it's not right. too many trees and tall grass and all that. Yeah, if you go to a couple other parks around, you'll notice that this one's pretty easy to play compared to. There's no creek. Like we have a creek, but it's concrete lined. Yeah. Like, if you go to Bill Allen, Bill Allen's got like a real creek, and you lose discs in it. And some of those are pretty expensive. Yeah. Well, cool. Thank you for taking me out. That was fun. Now we're feeling all right. There's a super if anybody on the pub cares. I think I'm the only Subaru guy there. <laughs>